Hi guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. Today we're going to be making something for cell phone cases. It's a storage idea or hack that I saw on Instagram and I wanted to give it a try. So for this project we'll need an empty shampoo bottle. You can use conditioner as well, doesn't really matter as long as it has room enough for your cell phone. Then we need an exacto knife. We're going to be needing one of these whole paper punches, a sharpie or any kind of other marker that you have. And then some scissors. We're going to be starting by kind of like measuring how much I need and if this bottle is going to be enough for my cell phone. The bottle itself is kind of painted in white is because my niece knew about my project and she wanted to kind of help me out so I found that kind of cute so I just left it like that. So I'm just going to mark or create the bases and for that I'm just going to mark where I'm going to be cutting. And to actually be hanging this part, I'm just going to add this piece. But just before you go on with this part, just make sure your charger thing is big enough to cover that. I'm going to be doing actually something else and towards the end I'm just going to show you what it is. But I'm just going to be needing that extra space and that dot that I made there. And again, I'm just going to mark that piece that my cell phone uh, charger has. This part depends on the cell phone that you use. Once you have the base drawn in there, you're just going to cut it using the exacto knife. Be careful because these things tend to cut. If you don't like using this, just ask your parents or somebody else to help you out with this or just use scissors and just take your time while cutting this. And then I'm just going to clean the insides of my bottle because it still has some shampoo leftovers in there. So just um, make sure you clean that up before. And then once that's dry, I'm just going to, to mark again the square and I'm just going to cut out that part with my scissors. And then I'm just going to make it whole with my punch thingy. And yeah, this is pretty much it as far as for the DIY or the base goes. But I'm just going to first apply a base because I feel like if you apply, you know, acrylic paint over a shampoo bottle, like the paint is going to peel off. I'm just going to be using before my mud patch to have it like a kind of, you know, base coat. Once my mud patch is dry, I'm just going in with my white acrylic paint and I'm just going to give it a lot of coats, like not a lot of coats, but maybe three or four. Pretty much depends on like the quality of the paint that you're working with. I'm just going to paint it and this is pretty much up to you and what you want. And then I decided to go with my black paint and I'm just going to paint like the insides of my organizer. And here I'm just going to start decorating. I went for a striped pattern because I love black and white. But I didn't want to go like super precise with it. You know, you can always measure where your lines are exactly going to be. But I just went for it as I did it in here like by eye. And yeah, I'm just going to complete the whole... I don't really know how to call this thing. Case or this box. I don't really know. Leave me a comment below on how would you would call this thing. So once the whole thing is dry, I'm just going to take a really random um, cookie cutter in the shape of a star and I'm just going to pretty much mark the shape with my Sharpie. The Sharpie is actually not real touching the cookie cutter. I'm not real sure if you're able to see that, but it's um, kind of like smaller star because it wasn't actually touching the cookie cutter itself. And then I started with my gold paint, as you can see, but I thought I would just give it a few coats as a base coat with my jello and then on top use my gold because if I do that my gold is going to pop a lot more because of the jello base that it has and then I'm just going in with my gold color I actually ran out of acrylic gold color so I'm just going in with this nail polish in gold but if you prefer and if you have some gold acrylic paint just use that instead and then I'm just going to go and add some glitter on top and because I was already working with nail polish I figured why not continue with the trend. So I just added a few coats of this chunky glitter. I'm just going to cover my star again because the gold was okay but it was missing something so I just ended up adding finishing touches with this glitter. You can still see the gold underneath but I think it looks way better. Then I'm just going to wait for that to dry. I honestly waited like two or three days for this because again I was working with nail polish but I'm just going to secure the whole project with this gloss top coat and this is the one that I use for my phone cases as well and I got it at Home Depot. Then that's pretty much it as far as for the pride goes. 
and I'm just going to show you how to use it. So the first thing is I'm just going to plug it in. I don't want my cell phone to be touching the plastic of the bottle. I'm just going to add, you know, a piece of fabric in there and that's going to just add some cushion. So I'm just going to arrange the cable as I want it to be. And this is like the polished way to arrange the whole thing, like properly with the cable and stuff like that. I am not going to be doing that every time I you know plug my cell phone this is probably the way i'm going to do it just placing my cell phone as it is having the cable hanging in there so that's another option where as you can use it nothing happens really as far as for the one that i'm going to be using is this one i'm just going to hang it i find it a bit more handy because i'm always on my desk and pretty much i i plug it on my computer my cell phone so i'm just going to nail the whole thing in I'm just going to place it where it's not bothering me or just any movement that I make but it's handy to have it in the corner so I can hang it while charging it if that makes any sense. And because I used one of these nails I'm just going to paint it and to paint it uh, I'm just going to protect my table by using paper and I'm just going to paint it with black. So once it's dry I'm just going to place my phone case with the charger in it and that's how I have everything set up and those the white and the black thing is I got at Office Depot I think and this is what my desk looks like just where I have this and as you can see it's not far away from the computer it comes on handy because I really don't like having a lot of cables all around me it drives me insane and this idea I found to be quite neat but you can still access to the things that you use daily if you liked it don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share it thank you so much for your time watching and I'll talk to you later bye guys